Hello everyone, my name is Vaibhav Wadekar. I am Lead Tech Support Analyst here at VMC Software. Today, I'm going to talk about the ad hoc task feature that we have introduced with VMC Remedy ITS in Process Designer 9.x and above versions. You can refer the online documentation from which I followed the steps for this video tutorial. So with Process Designer, uh, if you have a process attached to an incident and within that process life cycle, if you want to add ad hoc tasks, uh, you can do so. So let us see how we can enable that feature. Once you install Process Designer, within Process Designer configuration, uh, within configuration section, you have to make this checkbox from no to yes in order to have a ad hoc task feature available to your processes. Before we go into the detail, let us understand the limitations and then I will show you the demo at the end. As you can see in my screen, I logged into the mid-tier and I'm going to go to application, process designer, process designer configuration and within configuration section, I set the parameter support ad hoc task is equal to yes. Now, I launched the process designer and created a simple process as a process administrator enable debug log that the application to produce the problem, analyze the log and take corrective action. We made this process live by mapping it. So let me show you the process mapping. If I go to process designer and process mapping form, you can see that I have attached this payroll application issue with the categorization failure performance and the process state is enabled. Let us see uh, the help desk agent who creates the ticket whether the process is getting attached. So uh, as you can see on my screen, I logged into the mid-tier again as a help desk agent and I'm trying to create an incident now and performance. The moment I hit this criteria, you will see that the process pay payroll application is getting attached to the incident. The new incident has been created and it has these four tasks associated with it. But as a help desk agent, he identified that this is a payroll application performance issue and we might need to involve a task of a database running a database profiler. So in order to do that, you can see that within the process tracker, I can see uh, the full process. Now I have to add an um, ad hoc task between the enable debug logs and reproduce the problem. I just would like to introduce a new task there running a profiler at the database level. So for that, I'll just go say ad hoc. I'll say sequence. The entry point for this will be enable debug log at the application and the exit point will be reproduce the problem. The moment I say proceed and I'm going to save this as a critical and then you can see that the new task get added between the reproduce the problem and enable log that application. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.